Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we start on reset and uh, I'm going to do my daily dailies today with you guys and uh, see what the update uh, has in store for us um, logging in today. Uh, apparently there's a lot of big changes happening uh, in the game today. New battle um, or battle mechanics I think. I guess uh, some new events coming out and uh, we'll see what is happening in just a moment. Okay, so we start off with uh, some login bonuses. Uh, obviously this is uh, um, some adventure tickets that you can use and a welcome back for the Hoi Poi coins. Guys, we can uh, use the Hoi Poi coins again. I'm happy for this coming back. The rewards on those Hoi Poi summons are actually very, very good. So, um, and then obviously we can choose our login bonuses. Okay. I usually choose the energy just uh, to uh, stock up on some resources. So first off we get the Kaba event, obviously he is now, uh, you can Zenkai him and you can get his Z power in the event that is out now. Hey, it's me Goku. Um, what? Kaba turned into a Super Saiyan? Obviously this is going to be part of the event. Uh, it looks like uh, it's uh, that Dragon Ball Super Saga where they had the, the, the tournament between Champa and... Um, Beerus, of course. Okay, so straight into the news and the updates that we have today. So let's see update version 3.6 um, announcement. So, thank you for your continued support of Dragon Ball Legends. The app version was updated. So, we get the new update and the content is this update includes many quality of life improvements such as game performance enhancements, uh, increase a readability of on-screen elements, additional options and more. So uh, obviously the Hoi Poi um, has come back, has returned and we get a new event called the Battle Gauntlet uh, with Jiren. So we're gonna uh, find out a little bit more on that. Rebalancing of PvP matches and adjustment, uh, adjusted Rising Rush and Taunt in co-op battles. Um, that was in the announcement uh, on I think on Sunday uh, when we got uh, some some leaks <laughs> well not, not leaks well when they announced the updates and what we can expect in the updates. so PvP and battle system um, reduced the processing load uh, during PvP matches so that will be uh, mostly based on your uh, devices um, processing. Alright, so hopefully the gameplay will be much smoother uh, in that regard. Adjusted the uh, matchmaking system, that would be fantastic. Um, this change fine-tunes the system to further prioritize matching players with similar levels of strength. Uh, that can be dangerous as well because you can set up your team um, to have a lesser ability bonus, but we will see how that, how that works out added a feature that makes your device vibrate when a match is made that's pretty cool i like that you can turn it off and on um, that's a very cool feature i like that this feature also works in um, hyperdimensional co-op and co-op raids um, and matches with friends so that's very very cool i like that adjusted the action possible after using special arts Previously, if you tap the screen while using a special arts, your character would perform a tap attack after the special arts animation ended. That was quite tedious. I do agree. That happened quite a lot to me as well. Uh, this, cha uh, this change makes the tap attack less likely to occur. Fantastic. I'm all for that. Wonderful. Adjusted the, t uh, the tap detection between arts cards and the tap detection between arts cards has been adjusted to prevent the character from performing a tap attack when you tap the space between the arts cards. Um, yeah, I'll have to see that in action. Removed ability to use uh, unofficial equipment. Fantastic. Um, that uh, those equipment hackers have been uh, have been all over social media. I hope that uh, um, well, this is clearly uh, for them. So. Well done to Legends. Uh, we aim to continue to improve our method of dealing with unfair play. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Changes to the requirement of unlocking, unlocking new missions in the chain 
from uh, get reward to clear. So this is what they were talking about in the video and stuff where you can accept all the rewards at once instead of clicking them one by one by one. Um, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so the multi Z power added ability to use more than one multi Z power simultaneously. That's also cool. I like that. Um, so you don't have to click one by one by one by one. So it's basically just improving your overall games, game experience to make it easier for you. Changes to the equipment, uh, remove slots and reusable slots. Equipment slots can now be upgraded and removed as much as you want via consecutive uh, re-upgrades. So instead of just using one eraser at a time, you can use five erasers at a time um, just to uh, get through the rotation much quicker. Um, we have confirmed the, exist, uh, the existence of the following issues and are now investigating them. So um, they are still looking uh, to improve this for us and uh, hopefully these issues will be sorted out um, well at its earliest convenience I'd say. The Tournament of Power. Uh, you can now view your TP points from the home screen. Um, this is pretty cool because sometimes you forget uh, that you that your TP points have been um, reloaded. Uh, like if you're like me and you wait until you have five, you sometimes uh, only start at a, at a very awkward time and then it resets at that time only. Uh, so you kind of forget that your TP points are building up and this is a cool way um, to view your TP points from the home screen. Um, I like this upgrade um, and that's a, that's a big thumbs up from me. Um, in the hyperdimensional co-op added presets, parties and the hyperdimensional co-op, the preset parties can also be used in um, co-op raids. That's fantastic. Okay, I like that. So if you, um, if you uh, have a specific character with a specific preset uh, of bench, you can use that um, preset just in the raid as well. Um, added to the auto adventure features. This feature automatically selects characters and job requests from every adventure slot all at once. That is wonderful. That saves so much time. Uh, event uh, exclusive job requests will, will be selected first. So if it has a higher priority um, like the, the, the event that's coming up now, those adventures will be used um, or will get priority over the others. The UI improvements and fixes. Now this is a very, very big one. Changes, um, changed some placements and designs of the menu. Status has been removed, has been moved to other section. Gifts can be accessed from the home screen now. Um, added Z ability effects to the character's filter option. That's fantastic. Uh, added to special icon to the character list um, for legend limited characters. Rearrange the banners that display when you log in uh, to make it easier to see which events are currently underway. So it's basically just to improve your overall experience and to make it easier for you to get to the important stuff in the game. Let's go on to others. The guild, the guild exchange shop will now also appear in the exchange shop menu if you belong to a guild. Wonderful. If, you, uh, if auto mode is on at the start of a battle, you will automatically proceed into battle after the, after the clear condition have, have dis displayed for a certain amount of time. All right. Consecutive use of skip tickets um, is now faster. Wonderful. That does, that did take quite a lot of time. Added a feature to support on the titles um, on the title screen that lets you delete your user data. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if you still want to play the game. If you don't want your data to be permanently deleted, do not do this. Updated the Z Metal Exchange Shop. Updated various events and so on and so on. All right, let's go uh, to the battle version 2.4. Now this is uh, this is what I have been waiting for. Um, all these. Uh, updates on the vanish gauge or the the perfect vanish um, as well as um, some UI adjustments on well the matchmaking and so on uh, I really hope that this uh, battle version will improve the PvP um, 
I don't know, community, um, maybe avoiding or getting out all the hackers, um, or even just making it easier for beginner players to to start getting into PvP. If these indications, like the perfect vanish and the animations going on uh, going along with it, um, can help them improve their game style. So let's um, the game balance adjustments will require new innovative strategies. That's fantastic i like doing that um i never ch i never keep my my play style the same i try to change it up as much as i can we hope you enjoy the new battle system so let's go add an animation for um, executing a perfect or successful perfect vanish we've added a special effect and sound that plays when you successfully dodge an enemy's art with a perfect timing uh, with perfect timing during a battle this will make it easier to time your counter attack. All of this has been covered in the video and stuff, um, which was fantastic to see um, them so excited about it because this really changes the, the overall experience of your PvP matches. As an exception, a perfect vanish will not guarantee a successful counter attack if the following uh, in the following scenario. Um, I think this has been covered. So if you um, if you do a blast card and you dodge immediately um, and it gives you a perfect vanish, you won't necessarily be able to counter attack off of that if your opponent is quick enough to key cancel and then um, perfect vanish you for that matter. All right, then uh, obviously you guys can go through the combos, the co-op. Um, adjustments is actually what I want to go through because if we're getting raids or even the extreme co-op battles um, those can get very tedious if you um, uh, if your buddy doesn't or if your buddy is not cooperating or not synchronized with your movements um, even when you or especially when you uh, go for your rising rush so increased uh, the damage dealt when rising rush is used by both players at the same time this is where your um, your guild buddies your guild battle or your guild uh, members um, come in handy if you have them as a buddy because you can discuss beforehand like at this time we're going to use the rising rush and then you get that extra damage dealt uh, by using the rising rush at the same time increase the damage dealt by perfect uh, rising rushes so if you match your cards um, and it's different to your uh, to the opponent then um, you can get more damage from that but that's a given because it's a perfect uh, rising rush adjusted adjustments were made so that dependent depending on the situation in battle players are able to make better decisions about what kind of rising rush they want to attempt in co-op so um, it's made it easier for us and i hope that more players will invest uh, in actually strategizing their co-op matches um, especially by using their taunt action um, so the taunt action adjustment increases the amount of aggro received from uh, from taunt now i don't know if you know about that um, basically everything increases uh, from my pers uh, perspective if you are playing it feels like everything is sped up your key recovery speeds up um, your um, your vanish gauge um, uh, actually uh, speeds up um, and now they add it the taunt will reduce the damage that you receive by 30 percent for 10 time accounts so if you cover change or if you uh, yeah, if you cover change and vanish and then use your taunt um, and you are caught in a combo after that you will still you will have that damage reduced um, a buff that you get there for 30 percent for 10 time accounts this will increase the opportunity for you to use uh, your taunt strategically um, and I hope that you guys invest in this um, thank you so much for the legends uh, com um, management team for uh, actually doing these updates and for listening to the community on what they want in the game so let's go back to uh, the home screen and see what pops up for events so first off we have the Hoi Poi event that comes back and now let's let's see what what it includes did we close it now? No, there we go. So they, they display it in like a banner menu on the on the home screen. That's so cool. Okay, so the Hoi Poi coins uh, come back. It looks like uh, there's some steps to it. Collect all the items on the step. You are on the pro. Uh, you are you are on to proceed to the next Hoi Poi step. Oh my word, that was a mouthful. New reward items will be available. Featured items include Legends Limited Multi Z Power. That is a biggie, guys. And Chrono Crystals. Okay. Chrono Crystals, we always want. Get awesome rewards and climb those steps. How to play? 
collect white uh, coins. Um, obviously, the raid will probably give us some white coins, but hopefully, there will be some events and some missions to complete uh, to get more white coins. Okay, get every item in the shop. Exchange the white coins to collect um, for items. Gather all the rewards on a step to proceed to the next. Okay, so the first step we see we get two chrono, uh, 200 chrono crystals, then we get a, a 100 rare metals, and then we get our first multi Z power 100, and that's for Legends Limited or Sparking. It goes for both. Wonderful. Then we get 300 coins for the fourth step, and then 200 rare metals for the fifth step, and then another 100 multi Z power Legends Limited or any Sparking. That is wonderful. That gives you 200 Legends Limited Z Power right off the bat there. And then the seventh step will be Rare Metals. Okay, the items listed above are only a portion of what is available. Steps are from steps from step seven onward feature the same items as step seven. Okay, so only the first seven steps will then basically get you all the rewards then from step 7 you will get probably 100 100 uh, rare medals okay so other items you get uh, your skip tickets um, your erasers obviously your soul medals and then your energy and some bells as well and here are the events that will probably give you your hoi poi coins so it's all the extreme zenkai uh, events if you haven't noticed that um, if you have not um, completed these missions you also get uh, your um, mission rewards in the mission tabs where you can get some Z power or not Z power well yeah Z power for these characters as well as some chrono crystals okay so legends weekend it doesn't look like there's anything there um, okay so support yet. let's see battle uh, you can get white boy coins from the upgrade events below while they are available so lock-in bonuses um, and then the huge thank you campaign season 4 and season 5 when they will start and I think we can go back to the home page and see if there's something else coming up here you can see the the tournament of power your TP points are already displaying and I have one ready there let's see if we have some saved up hoi poi coins I can do two wonderful so I will get my 200 um, uh, crystals there Okay, I see, I see it. So you need to receive at least 100 items to complete step 1. So let's go. So that means that's 10 summons. Alright, so I already have 20. And I will be doing the raid and the events to get more of these white boy coins to complete these steps. They really display it very, very nice. Um, I like how they display step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um... And they also show you where you can get the white boy coins. So if you go to the event now on, hopefully they will take me there. There we go. Yeah, you can get the white boy coins or get information on where you can get the white boy coins here. Okay, so let's go back to the... Oh, this is wonderful. This is a new good surprise. I like it. Alright, let's go into the event. And uh, right off the bat, it looks different. Um, it looks fantastic actually um, they show you what you can get at every event what Z power you can uh, obtain from the events also uh, where you can get your your uh, adventures um, go to the recommended you will see then the battle gauntlet floor number one if we go in here we can get some information on that see how far you can go start from the first floor and move on to the next if you win um, this is basically uh, an arcade style game um, I think you have to use the or you're gonna you're not gonna um, regain health uh, so I see that uh, we have some battle bonus characters over here that you can use um, to fight this battle gauntlet against Jiren so let's go into the first one and see how we do um, I have all three of these battle uh, battle bonus characters um, 
Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna have to do that later. Let's just run through uh, what we got in the update and uh, we get the Z power event again where you can get either the extreme 50 Z power or you can get the sparking uh, 50 Z power. I usually get the sparking Z power. Um, we have a scout battle um, that we can get some Z power for extreme characters and then if you haven't done the ultimate equipment collection uh, you can do that. I think we still have the Goku um, the UI equipment, the platinum equipment that we have here. Then we have uh, obviously the event for the Goku, it's the Ultra Goku and the Ultra Vegeta are still on and our rush has reset for the season. And uh, uh, so if you haven't done your rush um, you can start uh, afresh from today. For the upgrades, we still have our normal Let's Fight. Did they add another battle? No, they didn't. Um, equipment, and then obviously your bonus battles where you can get your souls. Nothing new from the special tab. Um, you can get these keys in the exchange shop for some rare medals. Um, and then no new co-op uh, boss. Um, I think we do have a new co-op boss. Uh, it starts afresh from today uh, it's still the Broly and let's see if the now we have the Vegeta that is the uh, bonus battle character battle bonus character and uh, we will be completing this uh, this co-op a little bit later and complete all uh, the steps after I have completed my three limited time rewards for today Let's just see what else I have missed. Let's go into PvP, see if they've changed anything on the display here. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't play uh, too much last season. Um, the hackers uh, just got to me and I, I kind of said that's it for me. So hopefully the, the battle mechanics are improved now. So we get uh, some uh, more rewards if we get... Um, higher ranks obviously I only got to uh, rank 45 so I will get to this 100 multi Z power I don't want to use it oh that's a very very nice feature they give it uh, they make it available for you to use immediately so let's use that a bit later we'll save it up we start back at 35 okay so let's see what rewards we can get uh, for this season it looks like it stays the same and we can get some Chrono Crystals if you place in the top 100. I think it's available for the top uh, 6,000, 10,000 um, places to get that 1,000 crystals. Okay, guys, uh, let's go into Tournament of Power. Did they change anything here? Obviously, I'm still en route uh, towards the um, the main boss. I don't know how, how long I will survive, but it's cool to see that they added the, the mission tab um, here at the top that you can quickly access the missions or see what uh, missions there are available for this. Obviously at the moment it's only um, on counts of how many times you play it and you can only get the rare medals. At the end if you've played 15, you can, well not at the end if you've played 15 uh, tournament of power battles you can get 20 chrono crystals. That is it for this video guys, thank you so much for joining in, hope to see you guys in the next one. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, uh, hit the like button and hit the bell so you, uh, you can get notifications whenever I post another video. See you guys in the next one.